if a parallelopiped is formed by the planes drawn through the points 2 comma 3 comma 5 and 5 comma 9 comma 7 parallel to the coordinate planes then write the lengths of the edges of the parallelopiped and length of the diagonal so let's consider parallelopiped in three dimensional geometry say this is x axis y axis and z axis that is the origin and the two points are given on the different opposite planes parallel planes we can see so let us consider here is a point a a is the point 2 comma 3 comma 5 and let us consider the point b on the opposite plane b such that it's a 5 comma 9 comma 7 on two parallel planes so that we need to find write the lengths of the edges of the parallelopiped and length of the diagonal since the point is 2 comma 3 comma 5 and the other point is given here 3 comma 5 comma 9 comma 7 clearly if we can just observe the along the x axis the coordinates so considering the plane Thinking about the plane the first through the point B and the, through the point A whose x coordinates are here x is equal to 2 we can say and here x is equal to 5. So the distance between these two planes is nothing but the difference between them. So the length of length of the edges of the parallelopiped are along x axis along x axis length can be taken mod of 5 minus 2 that is 3 units and along y axis along y axis say breadth b is equal to so the y axis means we consider the planes on along, along to the y axis so take this plane whose y coordinate is 3 and considering the plane here passing through the point b whose y coordinate is 9 so the difference between them along the y axis along the y-axis the difference is nothing but mod of 3 minus 9 or 9 minus 3 so we will be getting 6 units and then along z-axis along z-axis say height h is equal to so let us consider the planes the top and bottom so the top one is passing through the point b whose z coordinate is z coordinate is 7 and the bottom is passing through the point a whose z coordinate is 
5. So we can say we can consider that h is equal to mod of 7 minus 5 which is equal to 2 units. So the lengths of the edges of the parallel pipes are 3 units, 6 units and 2 units and the length of the diagonal so we can say the diagonal AB consider the diagonal diagonal AB whose length is given by by using the distance formula under root of x2 minus x1 whole square so we consider the point 5 minus 2 whole square plus 9 minus 9 minus 3 whole square plus 7 minus 5 whole square which is equal to 5 minus 2 is 3 square is 9 9 minus 3 is 6 square is 36 and 7 minus 5 is 2 2 square is 4 so under root of so which is equal to 36 plus 4 40 plus 9 49 so which is equal to 7 units so we consider that the lengths of the edges are 3 units, 6 units, 2 units and 7 units. 3 units, 6 units and 2 units along the edges and diagonal is equal to 7 units. Okay.